Okay, back where we left off. Um, we're we're writing the JSON re response to the console. Um, now we're going to work with that a little bit more. We just have a blank page here. So usually what I like to do, is, especially with these flavors, these are important. I create a variable, a global variable in the page called flavors. And I make this a an array. And what I can do is when I get my response back here, I can throw the results into that object. So I can reuse these flavors anytime in this page. And some of our other videos, I'll go into how to do more advanced things with that. But um, I wanted to explain the callback. So in here, we're going out and we're using that cell include. Um, we're calling the method get active flavors here. Okay, and the property we're passing a function as a variable. So imagine that in this is a function that we threw in this file that we just passed to it so that it carries along as a variable. So Ajax is calling out to the web service and coming down to the done method and and we're creating another function and we are saying that give me the results from our WCF call and we're passing it into the function that we pass to it. So in in essence this file is sitting in index HTML. It's like it's right above here. So it's like you're calling it back up top here. Okay. So um, Sal is once you're loaded here, it's a part of this page. So what's happening is we get we're getting the result set in here and it's passing that function. Now I can work with it in this page. So what I want to be able to do now is I'm just going to throw this in a table real quick and um, we'll just use a table body. Now this is where we can use bootstrap. So we create a table and we can make a class called table. There's one built into bootstrap for this to so handle our styling and everything for us. So um, what we can do now, this is, I like doing it programmatically because I feel like I have a lot of control over it. So what I can do is I could do a for loop because remember this is a list and um, we'll just call this variable X and we're going to use our flavors our flavors length okay and so this is going through the flavors that from our results okay so then we're gonna set we're gonna create um, we'll make a variable called f for the actual flavor in the list and of within that array so we'll say f equals flavors X so this will become the actual flavor object and then what we want to do is we'll write a little, we'll create a HTML variable here. And we'll actually programmatically create this table. So this is, we'll just concatenate this. And just cheating a little bit, a little copy paste. And we're just making a table here. This gives you a lot of control. There's other methods. There's tons of different ways of doing this. You can do binding. There's a lot of other stuff you can do. Um, this is just a quick example of how we can do it. So now we need to look at, okay, we know what are our properties. So if you look here in our test from writing a console, we can see that this is a flavor object. So we're going to have flavor name. We're going to have ID, price. For right now, let's just do flavor and price. So what we're going to do is in here, we'll just go in and we'll do F flavors. You can do it this way. And then you can, there's two ways of doing it. You can do it this way and you can do it this way. This way is um, safer. Uh, there's some web services, they use special characters, and you can't use special characters in dynamic names or properties like that. So this will actually look 
for the property, like if it has an at sign or something like that in there. Sometimes some web services, especially PHP legacy services, they'll have an at or a pound sign or something like that in there, which is bad design in my opinion, but um, it is what it is. Okay, so we'll do that. So we have an HTML object now. So what we want to do is we want to fill this table. So um, what I like to do is I give it an ID and call it TBL flavors, just so I can reference it down here. So then all I have to do is come in here, use some more jQuery. The pound stands for ID, and I'll paste that object in there and set the HTML to the HTML that we set up here. And what that'll do, if I hit Control K then D, that'll format all our HTML for us, so it's nice and clean. That's Control K, holding Control K, then hit D. That'll format it, auto format. Hit Save, and then um, let's go back to our page and see what we have. Hit Reload. There's our flavors on the page. So. That's it. That's a pretty simple way of pulling the data down. And from this point, um, you can you can do other things such as styling or whatnot. Um, you can go in here and we can add, we'll add a T head, we'll add our header tags, and we call it uh, flavors and TD and price. You can do that. And then if we come back in here, refresh. head oh this that happened because it overwrote the whole table we want to set here to be the T body I'm glad we caught that so you want to set the table and in the body so we're setting the data to the body here okay so you do reload boom so there's your flavor and if you if you want to do something special you can go in here go up top and you usually can have a separate style file, but just to show you real quick, you can go in and I can say my flavors table, my T head. I can make these um, font weight bold, font size 12. You can do something like that. And then just so you know, distinctively they're different. Okay. So that's our, our base application. Um, follow us for more tips and tricks on how you can quickly uh, build web applications. Um, just as a little sidebar, uh, what we've created in a few videos is a full-fledged application that has a API now that you can use this for Android applications, this service, or you can use it for iOS applications, Windows Phone, um, just about anything you can consume JSON with. Um, also, we have a double agent here, so um, this also can act as an XML service as well. So um, that's why we choose WCF, just because of the fact of how flexible we can build some of our applications just within a quick copy and paste. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter, LinkedIn, and we'll see you around.